Howdy. Welcome back to the Big Blue Workshop. Uh, today, again, we're doing something for the Indian guides. It's a little different. We're going to build mortar launchers. No, they're not rocket powered mortar launchers. These are just, uh, they're going to be run with surgical tubing and we're going to launch tennis balls at some shapes of tanks and jeeps and things. Uh, the idea, we're going to Eisenhower State Park. We've got a World War II theme. The boys are going to have a Nerf battle, so we're going to do more to launch it. Take a look, see what you think. Uh, it turned out pretty cool. I uh, launched the tennis ball eh, 40 yards, so not too bad. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, click like, and come back and take a look at other cool stuff. Stay tuned. Take a look at the finished product. I had to start by ripping down my 2x4s. You've seen me do this if you've watched other videos. I ripped them into 2 inch sections. And uh, then I had to convert my table saw back into the work table that I use for assembly by removing my fence and putting my piece of MDF on there that serves as a tabletop. And then of course running around to the other side and closing up my window. Smile. Sent my miter saw to 22 and a half and made some cuts for my uh, triangular braces that would hold up the, uh, the unit. And then I cut some plywood into six by six squares and this would ultimately be used for bracket that would hold the pipe like a big clamp. I used carriage bolts, quarter inch carriage bolts to do all the clamp. Some good old fashioned compass work and I had the half moons drawn on all my plywood. I cut them out on my bandsaw. Uh, these are the single pieces and then for the clamps I glued three together and cut them out. These were just the braces that I used to hold all the clamps together. You can see here this took a lot of test fitting and a lot of adjustment and I had to make sure that all my holes lined up and they were re-drilled several times. I used one of the other clamps as just a, a stop block just to hold it all together so I knew where to drill all my holes. And you can see this took a lot of trial and error. The biggest mistake I made was not getting my three sheets of plywood planed down to the same thickness as the legs. I ended up drilling the holes and then I had to put a spacer in there to make sure it clamped tight. Had I done this again, or if I ever did this again, I would uh, make sure that that plywood was the exact same thickness as those legs so I didn't have to put a spacer there. Again, more trial and error and a lot of error. Putting the legs together was a pretty simple process. It was just a matter of matching up the angles, drilling a pilot hole, and sinking a three inch screw in it. Actually, a two and a half inch screw. Once I got the frames assembled, I started loosening all the carriage bolts to try to make room for the launch pipe. Uh, again, a uh, little bit of effort to figure out exactly how far I needed to loosen everything to make this squeeze in and then uh, put it all back together. I finally got it assembled and started making the, uh, the holes for the, the frame. I countersank some of these holes so the carriage bolts would screw in and it uh, held onto the pipe pretty easy. Of course, I didn't really think this one through. In order to get the carriage bolt to go through the pipe, I had to use a pair of needle nose pliers, squeeze the carriage bolt in, and then uh, put my washer and my nut on from the outside. I'm sure somebody's going to say there's an easier way to make this launch mechanism, but the simplest way I could do it was with a carriage bolt, some washers, I put a lock nut on and a union, and then I put an eye hook into the union and tightened the whole thing down. It seemed to hold on pretty good once I got it all assembled. After trying a jigsaw to put the channels in the pipe, I decided to screw a board to the piece of PVC pipe 
and run it through my router with a half inch uh, straight bit in it and that seemed to work okay it, it was the easiest straightest cleanest way I could do this I got tired of actually threading this one at the one foot long all thread through the eye hook so I ended up connecting a drill to the end of it and I put a pair of uh, needle nose pliers on one piece and a open ended wrench on the other held them both with one hand pulled the trigger on the drill with the other and you can see it threads right through just beautifully. I needed something that would not break when it rubbed up against the board or the pipe so I took paracord and connected it to the front and to the piece of uh, all thread and then I put a uh, piece of surgical tubing through the middle of it. There was probably a better way to do this but this was the only way I could think to do it that wouldn't break. The end result created a product that uh, gave me as little abrasion as possible but as much launch as possible so it worked out to be a pretty solid unit and the kids seemed to enjoy it. I ended up testing it in my backyard. You'll see me pull it down. I don't think you can actually see the ball go but it goes all the way to that fence at the far end and I ended up not getting a video of the kids. I asked about 10 people to video the kids playing with them and uh, nobody seemed to get a good video and send it to me so that's the only video I have of the launch. These are the actual pieces that we shot at. I cut out just some shapes of a tank and a jeep and uh, painted them up green and uh, we put them on a stand and shot tennis balls at them at the camp out. The boys seemed to have loads of fun. We loaded up the trailer with our obstacle course. They played Nerf battle in the woods and shot the mortar launchers and had a great time. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, come back and see more. Have a great day.